God is so good. I can never tell you enough how good God is to me and in, obviously in general, right? It's not just me. He knows each one of us by name and it said he knows the number of hairs we have. So it's Matthew 10 verse 30. But I'd be pulling Cusco's left and right, so you're gonna listen for to 26 to 33. Womb to fear. So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, utter in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim upon the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground without your father's will. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore you are of more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my father who is in heaven. All right, carry on. insane and I really hope and pray that you can feel that amount of love and I'm very thankful and grateful for the people in my life that even if I sometimes can't feel the vastness or the greatness of God's love I can definitely feel or know that through my family and friends, I can feel that love. And so when I ever wonder of how much God loves me, I know it's a multiple of all others combined, times a thousand, a billion, a trillion, infinity, whatever. But that's how much God loves me and every one of us. It's bizarre, that's crazy, imagine. Oof. God loves us so much and it's so good to be loved. My name is Diana Salazar. I wanna talk about routine. And I know, and I'll talk about it in another episode or session about going numb and things like that but hey it's diana salazar be sure to subscribe and check in every wednesday for new episodes god bless but routine definitely helps me get my mind right or creates a space so i can welcome others into my space because if I don't have this space, then my attitude is so rude and I don't mean to be and I don't want to be. And it's just an ugly thing. But that's why I wake up early-ish, do my best. And even if I wake up late, I still try to get it in. I definitely have to do my, my Bible study, my workout, my... My Bible study, my workout, my meditation. I have been slacking on my meditation, but I need to get back into that. And then shower, breakfast, you know, the usual. But yeah, those things really set me to get my day started and make my bed. There's also a book about that. Uh, I think it's called Make Your Bed. And I forget the gentleman's name that wrote it small little book definitely recommend it it's make your bed by admiral william h mcraven i purchased it on march 26 last year it was a good read the link will be in the description box uh, it is an affiliate link so hopefully i'll get a little portion of it if that goes well 
It's a, sh a short read, but it's, it's pretty good. I rec highly recommend it. But yeah, that's uh, how I start my day. And I wasn't a morning person, but I'm definitely starting to be. And more so just, I just appreciate more and, and actually appreciate waking up and being able to wake up. And I get a new day and I get to share it with my loved ones and the furry loved ones, whoever's involved. And it's, it's a good thing. And I listen to different, you know, different podcasts, TikToks, whatever. The most recent one was, don't just praise your kid when they do something good like get an A in school or get an award or things like that that you're supposed to praise them at every other time you know it any and every other time just for existing uh, otherwise you build uh, people pleasers I guess or you know workaholics that kind of thing because they're seeking for praise that they didn't get uh, so definitely I guess I got off topic uh, bringing it back around, or I'm gonna try to bring it back around. That's why my routine is so important to me because I am grateful for waking up. I appreciate the day, and yeah, messy hair and all. It's good to be alive. God is great, and the world is beautiful. Even if we're broken and lonely and in shambles sometimes, the majority of the time, it's just this ease of knowing that the day will end and a new one will begin and every day is a new slate. to get some kind of groove going the routine helps just to help wake up and enjoy the world. God bless.